Hello, in today's video we're going to do biltong. Biltong is a South African staple snack food. Yes, you need a couple of ingredients, a decent piece of meat and three days of drying time. With that, let's get into it. Look at this piece of meat. It is looking awesome. It's a nice, big, juicy piece of beef. You're looking at about one and a quarter to one and a half inches thick. It's got a nice siding of fat. We're then going to get a bowl. You're going to add in about a third of a cup of sweet chili sauce with uh, around about two cups to three cups of vinegar. Uh, the volume of vinegar doesn't change the flavoring of the meat. You just want to make sure that the meat actually sits in the vinegar for a couple of minutes. This is to make sure that there is no bacteria that grows onto the meat during the drying phase. So just get it in over there, toss it around a couple of times, and then make sure when you take it out of the sauce, um, you're going to put it onto a drying rack above your dish that you're going to use for the spicing. You don't want to have the meat sitting in the liquid because once the spice becomes a liquid during the drying phase, you will not be able to dry out the spices. So super, super important and really cover the, the meat on all the sides, right? So the main top, the bottom, as well as the sides of the meat. And um, on because of the size of these pieces of meat that we are using, they are going to be on separate trays um, if you're going to use one single tray or you're going to use a common area, make sure that the meat does not touch each other. If the meat is going to touch each other, um, it cannot dry. And uh, over the period of time, if the meat stays wet, it will go rotten. So you've got to make sure that there is nothing, so, uh, nothing touching the meat during the uh, drying process. This meat is looking beautiful. Okay, so with the... Uh, dryer that we have uh, we have a enclosed electric dryer we are setting the temperature to 90 degrees Fahrenheit and the time um, for our machine we can only set it at 24 hours if you enjoy this video please give it a like share and if you don't mind subscribing that'll be uh, great How beautiful does this look? Well spiced. Ah, oh, this is looking fantastic. This is looking absolutely stellar. We're going to cut it into a couple of different ways. One's going to be super thin slices of uh, biltong. The other is going to be a little bit thicker, chunky style. Well spiced. Ah, oh, this is looking fantastic. Just delicious. Time for the test. Mm. It is soft and chewy and tangy and it is just everything that you would expect from Biltong. It is just beyond spectacular. Truly not difficult. Like, as much as people tell you how difficult and complicated Biltong is to make, it isn't. It is taking a decent piece of meat you can use any cut. People say to you, you've got to use silver side, you've got to have this side, you've got to have that side. It doesn't make a difference. The thicker the piece of meat, the longer it takes to dry. Uh, in the description below, I will show you a video that I did of pre-cut chunks of meat. And that took around about 12 to 18 hours to, to do. Give this thing a go. This is beyond delicious, truly, much easier than you can possibly imagine. There is nothing better than great biltong. And this biltong has a big fat green tick in a box to say this is delicious. And on that note, catch you guys on the next one.